So the show opens up. If I can find my notes here. Samoa Joe's in the ring for Bruce Pritchard's favorite thing, a contract signing. It is a contract signing for Seth versus Dominic. And they note that yeah, there are two... Joe, Joe, was, Joe saved this segment because, number one, these segments are so overdone. And number two, it's like this gimmick is... You know, Dominic is very limited in what he's going to be able to do on the mic at the stage. And this gimmick of Seth is just, you know... It just ran its course a long time ago. If it, ever, if it ever even had a course to run. But Joe was... The problem is, is like when the thing was over, all you wanted was Samoa Joe against Seth Rollins, you know. Um, but they killed poor Dominic. Well, what happened was they have a contract signing, and the story is that Dominic has to sign two contracts, one for the match on Sunday, and one is just his WWE contract. So he's now a WWE wrestler. So Samoa Joe is there. Too? And Joe basically cuts a promo for Dominic. And he cuts his promo on Seth, how sad this is. He basically flat out says, like, used to be awesome, now you have a shitty gimmick. And talks about how they took out Ray's eye and Alistair's eye. They would have taken out his eye, but Dominic ran in to show up. And Seth goes off about how I gave this kid a choice multiple times. He didn't want to do it. I had to turn into this character because these fans crapped all over me. I'm like, dude, it's not my fault you're doing this stupid gimmick or anyone else's. Man, man, it's no, it's it's blame the freaking Booker that that you know that that had you in that program with Bray Wyatt that freaking killed your you know your career as a babyface. So finally, Dominic ends up signing both contracts, and Seth congratulates him, tells him to get the hell out of the ring because he's got a match with Humberto Carrillo. So they do a match. It's quick, like 90 seconds if you take out the commercial break, and of course, Dominic. Ends up whacking Murphy with the stick when he tries to interfere. Carrillo is distracted, and Seth hits the curb stomp for the pin. So afterwards, Actually, it's three minutes. It was it was three minutes, but it was. Is that counting know, the commercial? Very much. Carrillo is very much a complete job guy now. Yes. Did you know on? Um, God, what show was it? I think no, no. You know, did you know on main event that um, um, Riddick Moss beat Mustafa Ali? That's, wow, that's, how, that's Mustafa Ali. Talk about talk about like like falling off the face of the earth after. You know, didn't we give him three weeks and he only lasted like he was already dead in two? Yeah, he lasted one week. Yeah. So the heels Poor double guy. team he's dominate. So, he's so good too. He's so good. He can talk. He can work. He's great on the internet. It's like, why would you not push a guy like that? So the heels kill Dominic, and they grab these kendo sticks, and they beat the ever-loving shit out of this guy. They caned him in the front, they caned him in the back, they caned him all over the place. He's got welts all over his body, they took his shirt off, he's just... It looks like he's, he's, I don't know, just... It looks like a... I don't even know what I would say. A zebra? It looks like a... uh, some anyway, it's brutal. He looked like he looked like you know what he looked like he looked like he got finished with that freaking skateboard from Darby Allen with the thumbtacks. This was, I mean, the thumbtacks were worse because they actually cut the skin and the guy was bleeding all over. But this guy had four times the amount of lines across his body as uh, who, who's who, who's who's going to be hurting worse as far as Ricky Starks because Ricky Starks you got to take a shower in that that's like bad. But then this guy, it's like. Those bruises, that that thing's just got to kill you for a Dude, I would much rather take the kendo stick shots than that skateboard tearing my flesh off my back. That was brutal. man, either one. But it's like, this looked so brutal. It was almost like, like, it it got to the point, like, it went from, at one point I'm thinking, like, if it wasn't for this, like, bad gimmick, and if it wasn't for the fact that it's Dominic doing the match and not Ray that I would say, like, watching this and then have Ray against Seth after this angle, like, if it was, like, another year, I would go, this is really, like, great. Like, not even good, but great. But it went on for so long with nobody saving him. And was Where so the brutal. fuck was Samoa Joe? He was sitting there. He's not allowed to do anything or else he loses his job. They made that clear. So so, so we can't blame him. But where's Humberto Carrillo and, and every Kevin Owens and 
all these other guys. He's just taking this beating, and it just got to the point of, I'm I'm supposed to sit here. You know, it was like that that deal on Friday night with with those those uh, you know, retribution dudes, and they're like cutting up the ring and beating people up. And it's like, there's a whole dress. Number one, there's a whole dressing room full of wrestlers and no one's coming out. But you know what makes it worse? There's a freaking audience full of wrestlers and they're just standing there. And it's just like, Dave, this is, just Dave. Against, you know, there's, there's, there's 40 of them and there's five of these midgets and they're like, and one woman, four, four small guys and one woman, I'm sorry I said the word midgets, but, um, and they're just and and some of those dudes in the audience, those MXT dudes, are giant dudes, you know, and bodybuilder muscle heads, and they're just standing there. And then here, it's like we got a whole dressing room full of guys, and poor Dominic is getting like just destroyed. And for a while, it was like this is really cool, this is really cool. But then they just kept doing it. And it's like, oh man, it's like okay, Dave, like, hold, on my, it's, it's, hold on a second, hold on, hold on. Now it's now it's like lost it to me. Okay, you're killing me here. Listen. What do you mean Joe can't touch anywhere he gets fired? That's the stupidest storyline I've ever heard. That's what they said. They made that very clear. I know they made it clear, Dave. I don't care if they made it clear. It's stupid. Joe was attacked by wrestlers last week. The, The wrestlers attacked Samoa Joe. And so now Samoa Joe is told you can't touch anybody or you're getting fired? That is a shitty crutch and bad storytelling. Okay, okay. I'm not... I am not defending... The, the logic, because there is no logic here whatsoever. I'm just saying that they did try to cover it in storyline. They did say, you know, that, you know, Joe said it, and I think um, Tom Phillips as well, that, you know, you know it, you, that they did cover that. You know, you can't do this or else you would get fired. So that's the reason for Joe. and But that's not the reason for everybody else on the card. You know, the Street Profits and Kevin, you know, you could say Street Profits have their own angle or whatever, but, or, and well, at least Angelo. I mean, Ford, Ford's doing the injury angle right now, or the, I, I, the, the, the food poisoning angle. But Kevin Owens was there, who's another, uh, you know, he's, he's fallen out of his program. And he, was, he was supposed to be in a program with Seth until they just dropped it when Ray, when Ray you know, agreed to stay. 